Hello, today we are going to talk about random walk, which is a topic covered in Statistical Mechanics 1. Random walk is a process in probability theory for determining the probable location of a point subject to random motions, given the probabilities of moving some distance in some direction. The previous action does not determine the direction of the next step. Now imagine a drunk man walking in the park. His movement is erratic. We would like to know how many steps does it take for him to get from one spot to the lamppost. So this drunk man, in our case, we would like to know how many steps does it take for him to reach the lamppost or in his direction and his next steps are being randomized. We can simplify this problem by making him walk either forward or backward only. This means that the total probability for him to walk either forward or backward is equal to 1. Now, since there are only two options, the probability of him moving forward is equal to 1 half. And if he moves to the other direction, the total probability of him is just 1 minus p which is equal to one half. Let us try example problem one. What is the probability that the drunken man ends up at position M is equal to zero after two steps? Now, the drunken man can do two steps to the right, which is forward. So we denote that as F, F, meaning he will end up at M is equal to two. Or he can move two steps to the back, which we denote as BB, which means he ends up at M is equal to negative 2. Or he could move forward and backward again, forward and backward. In this case, we have the scenario that we want where he ends up at position M is equal to 0. Or he could move backward and forward again, backward and forward again, which means again at M is equal to Zero. Now, in these four possibilities, we could write it as P is equal to 4, or the denominator is 4, but we have two possibilities that we would like, so we write it here. Now, the answer is 1 half. Another way of solving example problem 1 is by denoting the following. So the drunk man could either move forward and backward, so you write that as FB, or backward and forward, denoted as BF. Now the probability is going to be FB and BF, which is broken down to the probability of the man walking forward and backward plus the probability of the man walking backward and forward. Now, since moving forward is the probability of P and moving backward is the probability of 1 minus P, we just write them down plus B is equal to 1 minus P and F is P. In total, this is equal to 2P multiplied by 1 minus P. But remember that P is equal to 1 half. Replacing P by 1 half, we just write 2 times 1 half times 1 minus 1 half, which is equivalent to 1 half. Now, this is equivalent to the previous slide, previous slide that we show showing that P is equal to one half. Now let's move on to example problem two. What is the probability that the drunken man ends up at position m is equal to one after three steps? There are three possibilities, so it's either f, f, b, f, b, f, or b, f, f. And writing it down into equation, 
we write this as f f b f b f and b f f which we break down as f f b plus F, V, F, plus V, F, F. Since F is equal to P, we just write P times P times 1 minus P. Plus, from here, we write it as P, 1 minus P, because V is equal to 1 minus P. Plus, and from this one, 1 minus P times P times P. In total, we have 3P squared, 1 minus P. But again, remember P is equal to 1 half. Therefore, the answer is 3, 1 half squared, 1 minus 1 half, which is equal to 3 1 over 2 Q or 3 over X. Let's try solving example problems. What is the probability that the drunken man ends up at position M is equal to 1 after 3 steps when his first step is moving forward? So we can write the equation as the probability of the man moving forward, F, F, B, and F, B, F, divided by all the probabilities where he's moving three steps, which is F, F, B, F, B, F, and B, F. Now remember from example problem 2, the denominator is equal to 3 over 8. So let's just try solving the numerator, which is equivalent to P, F, F, B, plus P, F, B, F. and denote it as star. So star is equivalent to P times P times one minus P plus P times one minus P times P, which is equivalent to two P squared one minus P. And note that P is equal to one half Therefore, this value is 2, 1 half squared times 1 half, which is equivalent to 1 over 4. But we are interested with the equation star divided by 3 over 8. So let's write that as star divided by 3 over 8 is equal to 1 over 4 multiplied by 8 over 3. We cancel this. This is equivalent to 2. So this total probability is equal to 2 over 3. For the problem where we would like to find out what is the probability that the drunken man ends up at position m is equal to 1 after 3 steps when his first step is moving forward? Thank you for listening and that's it for random walk problems.